Yes, I'm Corey Nicole with Where's the Best TV. And y'all look great to have to say. <laughs> so do you. Thank you. And I'm just really glad to be here today with y'all. And I really love suspense, like series, suspense movies. So this is so exciting for me. I always love when like a new one comes out. So I just want to ask each of you, what is your favorite like suspense movie or series that you like even drew inspiration from to prepare for this role? And Marielle, you can start first. Ooh, this is very old reference but uh, there is a movie, it's a noir called Double Indemnity. And there's an actress there called Barbara Stanwyck. And it's just classic Hollywood cinema. And there's something about her, you know, she 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 plays kind of like the typical femme fatale in, in a noir, but she gives that name so much more humanity and depth. And I looked at her a lot. I I actually was watching a lot of different noirs, and even though our show is a thriller, it does have like these noir aspects and um, the suspense and the cinematicness of it. Um, and yeah, I like to kind of look at older references just because um, they're so different, and you know, I kind of like to find a lot of my inspiration there. Um, so yeah. That's kind of where I was at in that world. <laughs> what about you, Elia? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I love, uh, I mean, I, I'm like Marielle in the way that I, I do love uh, the more classic stuff. Uh, we've talked about Clue being, you know, something that we are really identify with and, and see going on on the show. I love um, anything that has... Um, any element of romance though any mystery thriller that has like if if one of the characters motivations or something to do with unrequited love or doing something out of love that's a that's my favorite thing to watch um i think i think love makes people do some very questionable things <laughs> yeah they always say well usually they say like the greatest movies or series always have like like five elements and of course they always have like death or romance mystery and stuff like that so I definitely agree we got them all <laughs> got them all. all of it check them <laughs> off the list <laughs> what about you, John? um I'm trying to you know I guess if we just go off the word suspense although it doesn't you know be, you know our our show has a lot of different genres going on but just suspense like that whodunit kind of thing I always loved the uh, the usual suspects that movie. Oh. Um you know just something that really gives you a lot of twists and turns and you're not expecting but the whole time you're trying to figure out, you know, who did it. Um so that's that's what I would go off of. Yeah, and even John you do make a good point um that you of course do have a combination of a variety of different genres. So what about The Watchful Eye makes it different from any other suspense or any other like who done it movie or well, I think, you know, it's it's a mystery and a thriller and there's suspense and it keeps you on your toes, but also there's this supernatural aspect. So the whole time, like even us filming it, we're kind of like, what, you know, what is, what's the genre are we doing here? And, it, <laughs> and, and I think it'll keep viewers on their toes. It makes it a little bit different from some of these other shows. Mm -hmm. Elia, what are you excited for fans to see about your character in the series? Ooh, <laughs> delicious one um you know what I love Jenny's style I uh love the color black and also black and other shades of black so the fact <laughs> that this very uh colorful style um sometimes it's boho chic sometimes it's just um like monochrome just chic <laughs> just, just regardless it's chic okay but like <laughs> I, I just I love I love that I stepped into an entire different uh body and uh and and wardrobe for this character and I'm excited for people to have as much fun with her as I did. I think she's lovable and she makes people feel comfortable and and I I just hope everyone resonates with her or or experiences her and 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 feels feels like they know this person. So I see that. I kind of feel that you really resonated with her, even when reading the script. Did you like have anything to pull from, or was it kind of just natural, like getting into the character of Jenny? It was natural. I felt like I just got to be my most fun, expressive, um, not even carefree, but just I felt free. I felt like there was a lot of freedom in, in playing Jenny. I think she's that kind of not even character, but just that kind of person who's 
very accepting and, and can make uh, even the uh, coldest of hearts melt. And I love that about her. No, I That's do true. I'm excited for you no know, fans to see that, of course, more in depth. And with Marielle, I was um, even, you know, very intrigued how, of course, you're going to be like living in this house that's, you know, haunted, has some mysteries going on. So would you ever in real life stay in a place that had a reputation like that? <laughs> oh, my God. I feel like I would because I like that torment and just hating myself, you know, <laughs> But I, I, I've actually thought about it. There is in my hometown a haunted hotel with a haunted room. And I've thought about staying there. But I also think like, you know, if you go searching for something and these spirits really do get mad, it's difficult to, you know, unlatch them. So I also don't like to mess too much with that stuff, you know? <laughs> No, no. Um, I already feel like I messed enough in the show. You know, they had me playing a Ouija board. Like it was oh, yes. crazy. Yes. Yeah. So what do you even think about incorporating, of course, Ouija boards into like, you know, series or shows? Because of course we hear the older stories of like old Hollywood and how they may have incorporated it and stuff may, might have happened. So what do you think? <laughs> well, I'll tell you this. I started having some terrifying nightmares when I was shooting The Watchful Eye like really, really, really awful stuff. And even Ali and I talked about this because I I was like, there's something in this set. And we were in a, you know, in a studio a lot. It wasn't like this very old place, but I just like felt things and and <laughs> and Aaliyah heard whispers that weren't there. Like it was actually <laughs> Oh wow. And my one thing I was like, as soon as I knew there was a Ouija board too, I was like, look, I don't know how y'all, but I just I can't touch it. I'll be in the scene, but y'all please don't let me touch that thing. Like that was my that was my one thing. And everyone was like, What? Like it's fine. I'm like, I'm not touching that board. Like that was <laughs> That was my, that was where I drew the line with my soul. <laughs> Acting or not good. Yeah. No. I mean, what about you, Sean? Did you feel pretty comfortable? Like on the set, did you have any type of like chills or like eerie? No, I didn't. Um, I didn't have to be on those, those kind of creepy sets as much as they did. I didn't, I didn't have as many scenes in the Greyborn. Um, you know, there were some creepy spots, like yeah. especially the basement uh, where we shot the basement, but um oh. I don't know. I guess I, I skated free of all that. I wasn't there long enough. 